Hello viewers and welcome to the Thanksgiving event 2009. This ran a couple days before Thanksgiving. It's supposed to run a couple days after, so if you haven't done it by the time this video is posted, please make sure that you still can. This is also going to be covering the Cryptic Clue Fest, because that was supposed to be part of the Thanksgiving thing. Um, items you're going to need for the first part is nothing. Uh, level 3 can do this entire thing, by the way, including the Cryptic Clue Fest. For items for the Cryptic Clue Fest, I will be showing or telling you which ones you have to get when it gets done. For now, let's just worry about talking to the cook's brother to take care of his turkey problem. Say you could help. Say yes, you'll help. Let's go. Let's do this. And off the mall. Don't be surprised if you hit abnormally high. The max hit that they can do is one on you, so don't worry about that. And it gives no combat experience. Sorry. The only thing that that did was if you didn't already have the give thanks, you can now turn into a turkey. Yeah. Woof de doo. This next one, the item list you are going to need is three ropes. They can be bought from e's either, all this stuff can be bought from the Grand Exchange. I'll be telling you the different stores you can buy them from. Um, three ropes, easily bought from Ned or Ted or whatever, in Drainer Village. Two buckets, you can find them right in the Lumbridge basement, or you can buy them from a general store. Five bananas, go to Kremja and pick five bananas. Two buckets of milk, we'll be using our buckets that we currently have, and we will be milking any old cows that we can find. I can make a really inappropriate joke, but I'm not going to. A seven fishing bait. You can get that from any fishing store. 227 coins. I shouldn't have to tell you where to get that. Four hammers. Any general store. Six red spider eggs. You can get them from Varrock Sewers. Just go to where the spiders are and pick them up. You're going to need 200 coins. For, okay, yeah, I guess. Let's just say that you need 234 coins max. Okay? That, that covers all three times you need coins. You need three jugs of water. Just buy them jugs from any general store or pick them up here and fill them at any water source. Three small nets can be got from the fishing store. Ten air runes can be crafted, bought from Aubrey. Uh, seven cabbages can be picked from Draenor or Falador Cabbage Patch. You need eight chisels. Those can be bought from a general store. Three eggs. Oops, I forgot those. Can be bought from the Grand Exchange. Or they can be picked up from the um, chicken place. Any chicken farm. Or just kill a bunch of chickens until they drop them. Okay, so that should cover it. You can carry all the items you want except for the parts where you need gold. Like the first time we need gold is we need 227 gold. Second time, you need to drop 27 or bank 27 to have 200 coins. The third time, you're going to need add you need to add 34 to that. If you have any more than the exact amount they ask for, they will not talk to you about this. Okay, so please make sure on that. The first one we're going to want to do 
is just north of the castle here. He is going to want the three ropes, two buckets, and the five bananas. Right here, Latch Toker, or whatever. You know you're on the right track when they mention the group. Oh, it also helps if you have teleports to at least one teleport to Falador, one to Varrock, a couple to Lumbridge, and um, a way to get to Alcarid easy. If you are a non-member, I will leave this up to your best discretion. If you're a member, just bring Teletabs and a Ring of Dueling. It makes it a lot easier. Okay. Now that we're done him, let's run over quickly to the farms and get us some items. Because I didn't feel like buying them. <laughs> now we're going to want to go to Varrock. Go to Eastern Varrock. Just uh, through the gate and to the north you will find a bar. We need to talk to the bartender there. The bar is called the Jolly Boar Inn. Items we are going to need for him is two buckets of milk, seven fishing bait, 227 coins, and four hammers. Please no jokes that it's hammer time. If you would like to bank half these places, we're going to have banks on the way, so just bank and replenish your items with the ones you're going to need. Okay, for the next one we're going to need six red spider eggs, 200 coins, and three jugs of water. Where we're going to want to go is to Falador. To the south of the West Bank will be a gem seller. We need to talk to him. So talk to Herquin. What we're going to need for this next one is three small nets, ten air runes, and seven cabbages. The hint that he gave us refers to Farouk in al -Karid. He will be north of the palace. Okay, the very last things we are going to need are 8 chisels, 234 gold, and 3 eggs. The person he is referring to is in Lumbridge and is none other than Rawdeck the advisor. And when wielded, you can right click sleuth it. It's a kind of a moat. It's good for girls to see whether or not their boyfriends are boyfriend material, if you know what I mean. Anyway, <coughs> that's all. Hopefully, the people who are watching this actually did these things on their own. If not, that's ouch. Yeah. Anyway, enjoy what you have, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.